Greetings, it's Maxo Diddly here, and today we're going to be going over how to validate the file type of a file using Python. So let's get right into it. But before we do, a little disclaimer. We're going to be using the extension of a file to check the file type. And the extension of a file might not actually be the file type of a file, as you can easily just right click and then rename the name of the file. And you can change the extension that way. This is not bulletproof. There are other ways to validate a file type and we will go over them in the future, but this is just to help people get an A in their coursework or exam. With that out of the way, let's get right into the code. So we are going to be doing a print statement. We're going to print to the screen and we're going to be printing the result of an isValid file function where we pass in a file path and then a file type. So let's get into defining this function. First thing you need to do is you need to do import OS as this is going to contain functions we need to perform this validation. After we are going to do def is valid file type file path comma valid type then a colon. So we're going to be defining a function. It's going to be called is valid file type. It's going to take in two parameters. One's called file path and one is called valid type. This is going to be the file path we want to validate. Valid type is going to be is this file of this valid type. So if we pass in a PNG, we want to, our file to be a PNG to be considered valid. If it's .txt, we have to have a text file to be considered valid, and so on. After that, we're going to do if os.path.exists file path equals false. Then we do a colon, then underneath we do return false. So what's going on here? Basically, if the file doesn't exist, then we want to return the false. Because if there's no file, then it's not a valid file type because it doesn't exist. So that's why we're going to include this code. And we do return false because if it doesn't exist, we want to exit this function and tell the user invalid. After that, we do extension, which is a variable, equals os.path.split text, file path, and then one in square brackets. So you might be thinking, Max, what's going on here? Well, basically, uh, the split text function We'll split the path name, which is our file path, into a pair, into and the and we have a root and an ex extension. So the root would be meme profile pick. Dot png would be the extension. And so you put your root and extension together to get your file path. And so if we want to access the root, we would put a zero in the bracket. If we want to access the extension, we put a one. Since we want to check the extension, we are checking the one. So this just gets a pair, which is going to be the root and the extension, and then this square bracket with the one is accessing a certain element of that pair. After that, we do return extension equals valid type. If the extension matches the valid type, this statement becomes true, therefore we return a true to where we call the function, meaning it's going to print true because we have a valid file type. If the extension and the valid type aren't the same, then we're going to have this issue where it's not a valid file type. Therefore, this becomes a false. We return a false to where we call the function, and as a result, this will print false. So, let's go and see what happens. But firstly, if you're in Visual Studio, you can right-click on your project, go to Open in File Explorer. You can open your project in the File Explorer. This is where we have our mean profile picture. You can put this wherever you want, as long as if you have the right file path. But if you want to do it relative to where your code is, that's how you can find out where your project is in Visual Studio. It'll be different for other IDEs. So let's click save and then hit play. It printed true because it's a valid file. Because it's got the same file path as the one we want. Let's do TXT instead and hit play. It says false because that's not valid. .png and .txt are different. So let's put .png again, but let's put mean profile pick 2. This file doesn't exist, but uh, the extensions match. It says false because as we looked before, that file doesn't exist in our little Python folder. So that's it for this tutorial, be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed, and subscribe if you want to see more Python tutorials. Thanks for being a great audience, I'll see you next time.